Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk Covent Garden. This is our new series of Saturday specials and because you guys asked, I'm going to show you some basic knife skills. Now Chinese food and Asian food, I always say, is 90% preparation, 10% cooking. And 90% of the 90% of preparation is all about how good you are with your knife. During this series, I'm going to show you how to use your knife correctly and most importantly safely. And then how to chop your vegetables the right way, fillet your fish the right way, and slice meat really nice and thinly. The third episode of our knife skills series, and it's all about meat. This is not a piece of meat, but I always find that using a pepper to show you what I like to call the roll cut helps you to learn how to butterfly meat and thin meat out to get those nice, really, really nice and thin strips of chicken or beef or pork. And the roll cut starts like this. So you take the end off, and as I showed you in the second episode, which was all fine slicing and fine dicing, when you're slicing into anything, it's always got to be long sawing motions rather than short and sharp. Because if it's short and sharp, you'll create sort of teeth in what you're cutting. So long sawing motions is the first bit. The second bit with the pepper and, ro and roll cutting is that essentially I'm going to show you how to make your knife sort of follow where you want it to go rather than push it here or there. And the idea with this is that I'm going to Follow the inside sort of round of the pepper or the inside wall. I'm going to prop the pepper up and long sawing motions start to slice into the pepper to open up this pepper. Now you see at this point that my knife is starting to bend round the inside wall of my pepper and follow that wall nicely. You see that? Now my knife is essentially parallel to the board. And at this point, I'm gonna leave it parallel but keep it nice and long with the sawing. You can see I'm sort of unraveling the pepper with my crab hand, my left hand here, as I go round. And I'm just checking that I'm in the right place. I'm at the edge of my board here rather than in the middle to give myself as much space as possible and not knock my knuckles and in a nice much slower way than I would usually do it just to show you I've taken the whole inside and membrane out from the pepper that is what we call the roll cut so you're starting from the top perpendicular to the board bending your knife round finishing it off nice and sort of parallel to the board and just lifting that out of the pepper at the end. All you do now is you take the end off. I can take that one step further and this is where it starts to get sort of much more similar to slicing meats. I'm just going to cut that into pieces. Now if I wanted to sort of slice this and start to thin this out, it's all about that sort of long stroking movement with the knife but having control with my thumb and my index finger to keep it in a steady position. And you can see that if I cut this very carefully in nice long sawing motions again, you can see my, my crab hand is actually flat for the first time. I'm just carefully edging down. Now, at the very end, I'm going to push my thumb further so that it goes towards my board and my fingertips over the top of that and I don't then slice into my hand. And so you can see that I've sort of skinned that pepper with that knife. The idea of this and this practice is getting as much control as possible with your knife hand. I'm gonna show you what that does when we go and transfer into slicing into meat. Moving on to the meat, I'm gonna start with a bit of chicken breast. And what I wanna show you is how you can take that roll cutting of the pepper and use that same sort of control for your meat. The idea with this is that we're going to have to start with your knife at a slight angle to get into 
the center. And if I, I'm just gonna show you how to simply butterfly this bit of chicken breast. So it's gonna start at a slight angle, but once I get in, then I wanna sort of finish a little bit more parallel to the board. And that just then will help me sort of open up this chicken breast. So I'm just going in long sawing motions like so. And then I open that up with my crab hand. So you can see I'm picking that up here. And now I'm gonna open that even more, but with a more parallel sort of action on this knife. I'm using the tip of my knife so that I don't get too many sort of short, sharp teeth. And I wanna give as much space to this chicken breast as possible, which is why I'm doing long sawing motions and I don't wanna cut into it. So I've got now one side of my chicken breast ready to stuff, if you wanted to stuff it. Turn that around and do the same thing. This time around, every time you, you look at a bit of meat, you can sort of see in f where you might be able to open up and butterfly. So I'm just gonna slowly sort of glide my knife through, but you don't wanna go too far in case you come out the other side. So the breast started like so, and once you've butterflied it well, you can see that you've got two pockets of meat. Perfect for a chicken Kiev, which I'll show you how to make in a second. So, I've done my chicken. Now I'm gonna show you how to use that same technique to unravel a bit of steak and get thinner and thinner and thinner. Give the board a wash first. So taking your sort of roll cut first with the pepper, moving on to your butterflying for your chicken breast, you, you can then get sort of the same technique into slicing, really finely slicing your meat. There are numerous ways of doing this. You could literally just slice nice thin slices sort of par uh, perpendicular to the board like so. But to get nice sort of flat surface slices, then this horizontal technique is easier or better in the end. So the, the first way would be taking your butterfly, starting halfway through the meat, just making a sort of angled incision first and then once you're halfway through, then long slicing movements into it. Now you can pick up the bit of meat and again, just start from the base of your knife and pull the knife towards you whilst pulling out with your left hand. And then that unravels that piece of meat. Just gonna flatten that out and show you the other side. So turn that around, do the same on the other side. So just making the first incision, then pulling that up and then unraveling, unraveling, unraveling. You can see I'm just pulling out with the left hand so that I can get my meat in one place. Now, you don't have to deal with this in one go, you know, so take that in half and anywhere where it naturally cuts, you can then start to thin it out even more. So, exactly the same way. One thing to notice here is I'm quite close to the edge of my board as to too far in the center. Half, pull up. And the action is actually coming from the, my right thumb being quite tight so that I can keep my knife in the right place. Long sawing motions once again rather than short, sharp. Now you can see that one bit of steak is getting thinner and thinner. At this point, I still want a bite on the meat, so I don't want to go too much thinner because I'm going to make a nice beef roll out of that. And I can wrap a good amount of mushroom or something into the piece of meat. So I've got a nice thin piece of steak here ready for my steak rolls. 
Simple knife skills, but require a little bit of practice, especially when you're sort of getting to that point of thinning out your meat or steak like I just did. Take your time, practice, and really, really make sure that you've got that nice long sawing motion, whichever way you're slicing. So with butterfly chicken, it's really easy. I'm just gonna make a quick chicken Kiev, bit of butter and some chili oil mixed together, and then just a good dollop of that chili butter inside the chicken breast. Cover it with breadcrumbs, pane, the French style breadcrumbing, flour, a little bit of milk or egg, and then breadcrumbs. And then straight into the oven, 200 degrees C, about 20 to 25 minutes. For the thinned out beef steak, I've just marinated it with my ultimate barbecue marinade. You can check out the recipe for the marinade here. I've just added a little bit of black pepper sauce. Once you've marinated beef, wrap some nice straw mushrooms or any mushrooms you've got, nice long ones are always great, some asparagus, skewer it and give it a good grill. One to two minutes either side, of really high heat. So it's a weird thing to start with a pepper or a bit of veg to show you guys how to slice your meat properly, but fine slicing and really butterflying your meat starts from that roll cut or really trying to get to grips with your knife in a different angle. So once you get your slicing right and you've got that nice control of the sort of slow but steady long sawing motions, then your knife skills are gonna be up to scratch. If you like this video and you want to learn more, don't forget to subscribe to our School of Walk channel. And like, like, like on social media.